Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this guide we are going to discuss issues with HTTP and HTTPS interlinking, why it's so important, how to check and how to fix the issue. So why it's so important? First let's find out what is the difference between HTTP and HTTPS protocols. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol and it is a protocol used for transferring data over network. Most information that is sent over the internet, including website content, uses the HTTP protocol. HTTPS, meanwhile, stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. This is a secure version of HTTP. Why secure? Because it uses TLC in order to inscribe the information so the attackers will see random characters instead of plain text. When the HTTP protocol is applied, Chrome browser that is preferred by more than 50% of Internet users sends an insecurity notification able to affect the user's impression about your website, as well as its conversion and the search positioning. If a website has automatic forwarding from HTTP to HTTPS set, it might lead to inner 301 redirections, wasting the crawling budget and negatively affecting the website's SEO. You should use the highest possible number of direct links without redirections within the website. So, how do we check the issue? Using any browser is enough to check the issue. First, open the source code of the float page. To do this, click the right mouse button at any spot of the page and choose View Page Source option. The presence of the HTTP protocol in href attribute specifies that there is an issue. Also, you can simply check it using Site Checker by clicking on the Issue in Code button. There you will see the line in code where exactly the issue is located. So, how do we fix the issue? In case your website is not secured yet, you must proceed with the following steps. Buy an SSL certificate, install it on your web hosting account, double check internal linking and switch to HTTPS, set up 301 redirects so search agents are notified. As soon as you're done, change the protocol from HTTP to HTTPS in href attribute of a tag. If necessary, change the href attribute value in a base tag. Attribute value change within the base tag is usually made globally in the website template. That was it for today. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you still have any questions, feel free to reach out at support at sitechecker.pro.